So you may have heard that Automobile Lisa 2 just released its two newest DLC packs, one for the Endurance setup, uh, which is uh, the GT3 Gen 2 cars and the LMDH Hyper cars, and then another one that's the uh, 24-hour Le Mans circuit, which is awesome. It's beautiful. Automobile Lisa 2 does a great job uh, making some really beautiful content. Um, the cars are cool. Um, it brings them up to date with the, the current stuff that's actually being raced in IMSA and WEC and other uh, series around the world. Um, so it's pretty exciting. I like the GT3s. Um, I've heard other people talking about the GT3s as kind of, yeah, so, so they're really excited about the, the hypercars. Um, I'm exactly opposite. The hypercars are great. I think they're really cool. Um, it's great to see them on track, but um, I'm not as inclined to drive those um, at the current level of my skill set. Uh, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, what I wanted to do today was actually uh, um, do a little playing around with Automobilista 2 uh, in a, a race, a short race, 30 minute race um, at Jerez, um, which is a track that Rob Cottle and I will be driving in the Champion Motorsports iRacing Team Endurance Series race tomorrow. It's a three hour race tomorrow. It'll be multi-class with the hypercars um, and the GT3s. So should be extremely exciting, a lot of fun to drive in that race, uh, very high quality competition in that race. So we don't expect to do horribly well, but we do wanna go out and compete. Um, and this gives me an opportunity to just sort of play around with a different sim, get a different feel um, and play around and share with you the experience of Automobilista 2. So I hope that you will enjoy. Now, one of the kind of cool things about Automobilista 2 um, that they have um, talked a little bit about already is that their intent is to leverage their uniqueness, which is to have tracks across multiple generations, cars across multiple generations, to be able to present a really compelling career mode where you actually progress a career through decades of competition. Um, I've not experimented at all with that. Um, I, I they, they don't actually have the, the career mode built in yet. I do have, you can build your own championship, you can do different official events, time trials. They do have multiplayer support, although that's a little iffy. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do today is just a single race with some AI. Um, what I've got set up here is a 30 minute race um, in great weather um, on a date that is actually the race date for what we're doing tomorrow um, at a, the, the race time as well. Um, I'm just going to jump into the race. I'll be at the back of the pack. I'll work my way through the field. Um, I'll be driving the Porsche 992 GT3R, which is the car that we'll be racing tomorrow in iRacing. And we're at the um, Erez Chicane version of the track. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to jump into the session here. Like I said, I do hope you enjoyed this. This is, like I said, just mostly a goof, but I wanted to share a video um, and uh, give you some insight. Hi, baby. Hi. You sweet dog. 29 minutes. Pit window opens after one minute. So we'll see how we do here. Okay. So I was uh, following the forums uh, the other day for Automobilista 2, and one of the things I noted was uh, there are some folks that are transitioning their leagues to using this as their sim. Uh, multi multiplayer support is available, um, but there's no automated matchmaking, um, and I'm assuming you can put passwords on it. I haven't experimented a lot with it yet, so that'll be something that I'll play around with uh, a little bit later just to sort of see what the configuration is and how that all works. But pretty exciting to see this sort of uh, um, sim kind of coming into its own with the content and uh, increasing acceptance um, by people that are trying to drive it. I definitely uh, am enjoying it. 
you know, looking at what I've driven so far here in 2024, this is definitely topping the list of uh, consumed hours so far, along with iRacing preparation for official events that I'm involved in for uh, leagues that I drive. But uh, not driving as much uh, in ACC or uh, Assetto Corsa so far this year. Although the Shitoko project has still kept my attention, so I've been driving a little bit of that to do some testing. But uh, they have a 0.93 version of the Shitoko that's uh, about is available, but the uh, the traffic version of that is still in test. Got to get my tires and brakes a little warm here. They're so stone cold. Shouldn't need the pit. Wasn't really my intention to pass there, but I didn't get it woed up enough to not pass. Right. Make sure I stayed on the inside there, gave him room. I like, and again, this is different than uh, some of the other reviewers that I've heard say, I like the uh, force feedback fidelity in this, although I did go out to the forums and found some settings that others had done, and uh, I think the thing I found most gratifying is that uh, my experimentation around uh, getting my force feedback with my Semi-Cube Pro working correctly was pretty close to what a guy that was had a lot more experience in real cars and sim config was able to do although i do like some of the finer detail settings that his setup had if you go out to the forums it's kind of cool just like i think with the most of the the sims out there if you go onto the forums there's a tremendous support network for getting things dialed in the way you want and downloadable content and um, this was uh, force feedback settings in the form of a text file where he just articulated all the values for both the semi -Cube pro setup and the in-game setups and it made it easy to just sort of see what worked and tweak it to my own liking which was nice but the fidelity 
or the feel of the car is really amazing. That's the one of the drawbacks that I didn't articulate in my last video for iRacing is the force feedback fidelity is very low. Um, and I think that has to do with the cycle rate, the number of uh, signal processes per second that it's capable of. It's a 60 hertz system, I believe, in iRacing. So there's only so much it can send. And the more advanced the wheels become and what they can support, the more that starts to stand out as new titles come out and support. That was scary. In fact, that save that I just made was one that I might not have been able to save in iRacing because I wouldn't have felt it. Not able to save that. Lost a little bit of time to the cars in front, but that was the safe decision to make there. Just to let up and see where he wound up going. That was an ill-advised slam. That 
was a dive bomb, but it was an open door. The trick there was to make sure that, uh... And he just tried to do the same to me. But the trick there is to give space, make sure that I stayed tight on the inside. He left the door open, so... Smoke, there's fire, huh? So the AI has a lot of variability in their settings, both in terms of skill set and aggression. By default, skill is set at 100. That's where I've left it. But I believe that it goes up to 140? 120 or 140. stay on the track there a little bit. <laughs> Left side got into the gravel, got a little loose. If you aren't practicing your side-by-side -side racing with AI, you're missing a tremendous opportunity to improve your race craft for the races that do matter to you. And it doesn't really matter what sim you use to do that.
because it all translates back to better racecraft, car positioning, knowing how hard you can push. Where you need to give room for other cars, all that sort of stuff. Ah, damn it. Get off there. Man, once the side of the road grabs you, it's hard to get it back. Gotta be careful. Looks like we have the... LMDH traffic catching up. Getting sloppy. Ah, damn it. That was lame. Got crossed up looking in my mirror. Damn it. Damn it. Come on. Damn it. a little tap and the suspension's a little wonky. So the thing that's kind of funny is that the, the hypercars, they're obviously a lot faster in a straight line than, and even through the curves specifically. But, like, in low-speed turns, they tend to brake a lot harder and accelerate a lot slower out. You see how I, I pulled up to him as he was braking into the turn? Notice this at uh, Daytona too. At the uh, bus stop.
definitely not as stable as she was earlier. Because that little touch as I... got back on track. That was a poor, poor re-entry on my part, but I honestly didn't look at my relative, and I should have. a busy, busy track. Expected him to dive in and he didn't. Left him room. It's the most challenging part of uh, multi class racing is you're having to give signals of where you place the car. and assumptions about the skill set and intentions of the... Go! Usually you want to drive your own line, but sometimes you have to make choices based on what the traffic is doing. If it's between you and a single car, it's best to just drive your line. If you got a lot of traffic, you have to make some judgment calls. Just try to be extremely clear and consistent. Smooth, I guess is the word. And you don't always get it right.
I don't need the box, Jim. Unless I left mandatory pit stop on. Which is possible. I turned all that off, but maybe... Jim is fairly insistent, so I better box. You could practice anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Jam cold or hot? Ah, no. Well, there I blew P3 for sure. I didn't know that if, if I had enough to get there. But now it's for sure. I'm not going to be able to catch him. Dang. Just overdriving a little bit. Get in there.
a lot car. That's Automobilista 2 and a 30 minute race uh, really quickly at uh, Yerez um, and uh, did okay, I think. Um, looks like I finished uh, fifth in class, fastest lap, 144.577. Um, probably need to turn the AI up just a hair. Uh, they were a little too easy to catch, <laughs> but it was fun. It made for a fun uh, start from the back race, um, which I enjoyed thoroughly. I hope you enjoyed it as well. and. Uh, Give me a, a like or a comment. Um, let me know what you're thinking about Automobilista 2. And uh, maybe uh, maybe we'll see each other on the track sometime. Anyway, um, tomorrow, CMS, Jerez. Um, Rob and I will be uh, putting the good fight in. We'll be streaming that one. So hope you can watch that as well. Thanks a lot. Bye now. Sport.